Hello everyone, Lawrence Fleming here. All right, we've had some fun pictures of this convention that I'm at. And I said it's kind of a quick way to see what the world is like to the rest of the world because the people that they're dressing up on, dressing up as, are the people that they admire. So there's a lot of anime, which is a Japanese animation. But there are other superheroes. We know about Marvel and DC Comics and all these things. The superheroes that we saw were mostly created during World War II because people were looking at the horrors of war and they wanted to escape and they thought that we needed a superhero. Too bad they didn't realize that they've already got one. He's been around forever. He's been around from the beginning. And Jesus would have been the proper superhero. And he can fly. He can go faster than a speeding bullet. He doesn't need to have an Iron Man suit to fly. He's been around. But the thing is, is that we have to get out in that world. We can't be afraid to go out and amongst that and represent ourselves. Now, we did see one definite Jesus there. Uh, I didn't get a picture of him because we were walking out. Another one that could have been Jesus or a disciple. They were dressed you know, in that period of clothes of that time. But pretty much everyone there was trying to impress people with their appearance of how close they could look like their hero. So perhaps the Jesus guy is the only one that did it right. But it showed that there's a whole world out there that needs help and guidance. They want a superhero. And the world is actually going to get a superhero to them. Just like the people that put on their cosplay costumes, the Antichrist is going to put on his superhero costume. And he's going to fool everybody. The Muslims are looking for the return of Jesus. They're going to find him in the Antichrist. The rest of the world is looking for anybody to get him out of the mess that we're going to be in. The world economics are going to be bad, so they're looking for someone for that. So, my scriptures for today. Let's see. Okay. I'm in Romans 12, 2 right now. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we're to continue working in the world, but we're to transform ourselves. If you look at who Jesus helped, he didn't come down here to help those that were perfect, that were sin-free. He came to help the sinners. He talked to prostitutes. He talked to lawyers, which is one step above. Sorry. He did everything he could to help these people by showing them the example. He would heal them to prove he was really God. And then he would say, go and sin no more. So we've got to basically do what we can to work within the world, but yet not be a part of it. And I'm in John 6, uh, 15, 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were in the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you're not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. So the bottom line is, is that we have to keep getting the word out, keep trying to bring people to Jesus, but they're not going to be happy about it. But that's okay. We're not doing this for them to like us. I did want to kind of read the commentary 
uh, on Romans that we read earlier. Sanctification changes you. Don't worry, you won't lose your spontaneity or your uniqueness. However, through the sanctification, you will lose the parts of you that are selfish and cruel and destructive. You will lose the parts of you that you never liked anyway. Sanctification brings out the real, holy, God wanted me to be this way, you. So, we're still waiting. We don't know when he's going to come back, but it doesn't matter. He's going to come back at the right time to save us at the right time. We have work to do in the meantime. Every one of us has an ability that we can use to help God. Everyone. I don't care who you are, you have an ability. And you say, well, I'm stuck in a wheelchair or I'm homebound, whatever it is. No matter what your condition, you can't find an excuse that will keep you from doing what God knows you can do. So stop fighting it. Give in and say, okay, God, I'm ready to work. What do you want me to do? He'll find something. Maybe you're not ready yet because you haven't done it before. Well, start walking. That's the old saying, a trip of a thousand miles starts with the first step. Each step you take, it'll be better. I tell people that if you're trying to learn something, how to do something, you've got to do it at least a hundred times before you can feel the confidence that you can do it on demand whenever you need to. Making videos like I do. I made a lot of videos before I actually went and started this channel to be able to talk to you. I didn't know how to make videos. I didn't know how to work the technology. It took a little while. I've played guitar. It took me a little while to learn how to play it. A little while longer to get good at playing it, but it took me a long time of practice. At the very end, I realized I didn't have the music in me, as the song goes. So I just know that I can play the guitar. I just can't play music. I can memorize, but I'm not going to be able to do more than that. Well, that's okay. I've got other things that I can do. God will give you the ability, especially if you don't know how to do it. He will completely give you the ability. And you know what? Whatever your ability is, you're going to like doing it. Because God knows our true nature. He knows what we like to do and what we don't like to do. He didn't give you the ability to do something that you're going to hate doing. He gave you the ability to do something that you're going to love doing. You're just afraid to do it if you're not doing it now. Overcome that little bit of fear. Start small. It will grow, and it will grow fast. God is a very good teacher. The Spirit is in us to help us. It's our helper anyway. So get out there and help people. And do it, you know, when I say get out there, if you can't get out there, you can connect with social media now. You can connect with anybody. And you can talk to them. They don't know who you are. It's just like you don't know who these people are. You know, they could put a picture up of someone really beautiful and, and they could be an ugly person and you don't know. So be careful. However, it works in reverse. You can have issues that people might be you know, backwards about it. They might step back and not want to deal with somebody with your current condition. Christians should never be that way, but we're talking about the world. And the world has their beautiful people standard, and if you don't fit that, well, too bad. I'll go find another one. But they don't know when you're talking to them on social media that they don't know. Don't lead on. You're not lying. You're not concealing. You're just being you. So, use your gifts. Don't be conformed to the world. You don't have to go and look like the world or act like the world. You just have to be able to walk around in it and be comfortable in your own skin. Sometimes that takes time. But we can all do it. All right, I may tack a little bit of video on the end some more stuff from the convention that if I, you know, do it that way, I'm not going to bore you with just 
straight videos of the convention. Not, a, not everybody's into that. But the key is, is I'm working. This is a paid vacation, if you will. I'm working tomorrow. Uh, I got to meet some people that I've known in the industry. This was fun. I got to talk to Adam Savage from Mythbusters. Uh, used to work with Grant Imahara when he was alive. He's passed away now, but uh, he did some work at one of the studios that I work at. Got to see Todd Habercorn. He was also there. Uh, there's a lot of people there that you would know. Now, they're celebrities. They're of the world. But some are really of the other world that we're going to. You just don't know unless you talk to them. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up so I can get it uploaded. I'm going to be one more day here. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a long day because i got to do all the reverse of getting back home. I've got probably uh, 10, 12 hours of driving tomorrow. And then I'll be back. So I'm, I'm going to try to get a video out for Monday, but I might not be able to do it until a little later on. I'll record it Monday morning if I don't uh, get it recorded ahead of time. I do have a question for you. Maybe you can drop this in the comments down below. My numbers are dropping drastically. Is there a problem? I don't feel like I'm changing any of my curriculum. I'm staying focused. I'm staying on what God wants me to do. But my numbers are dropping. The last time this happened, I had to change the parameters. Some of my hashtags were picked up by the filters and nobody was seeing my videos. So I shuffled them around, put them back out there, and then it picked back up again. I need to know if that's as simple as the problem is. Am I hitting the filters? I've had some feeling that I've been saying some words that might get picked up. And if that's the case, i got to be careful with that. I don't want them cutting me off or blocking me so that you can't see me when I make my videos. I do these for you. I do this because it helps me stay on the right track while I do this. You want to learn to do something good? Teach it. Okay. Let me know if there's something that you don't like about what I'm doing. If you're not interested in the uh, other stuff that I do, my side work, most of the people are good. There are good Christian actors out there. Hollywood has a problem. But there are people that are working within it. And I know a lot of them. Like I've told you before, I was in the movie A Case for Christ. If you don't know about that, go check it out. It's a cool movie. And it was a religious-themed movie. I can't always find those around here, and a lot of them don't pay. I can't always donate my time. But I'm always available. And that's the thing what you want to do with Jesus, is that tell him, I'm always available. Okay. Until we meet in the clouds, God bless everyone. These are pretty cool. Look at these. These people come here and have fun. There. Oh, there's some Star Wars people over at that panel. I'm going to show you some of the uh, cars from this point of view. I did it with the live. And here are the cars. There's your Jurassic Park car. You can have your picture taken in it for 10 bucks. Same with the uh, Ghostbusters cars. Here's an interesting one. You into rocks? You can find all kinds of stuff here, huh? I'm just recording this for my channel, but I'll be definitely back.
at this. Belgium chocolate. Look at that. I will be back later for this one here, once I get all this stuff recorded. I'm going to try to do a live broadcast here in a little bit. Let's see if I can do that. And I'm just recording this so I can do it in another video upload. Notoriously, conventions like this, which are full of geeks, have very bad Wi-Fi because everybody's online. But we'll see what happens. All right, everybody, this is the convention, what it looks like. It's early, but it's starting to fill up. And people are in cosplay costumes, a lot of them. If you don't have one, you can still go to a convention. They won't give you a bad time about it. But if you like to dress up, you know, here's, here's a couple right here. But you have, we have a lot of fun here. If you've got a superhero that you like, like I said, I have seen Jesus dressed up. He's our best superhero. But the world is looking for a superhero to rescue us. They just don't know about the right one. So it's up to us to tell them about it. Look at these different costumes. Look at the artwork. If you're into having some of this kind of stuff on your walls or you're into this artwork, there's a lot of anime here today. The younger people are really into that. We don't want to get too caught up in the world, but still, this is what the world is doing. You've got to know about it. Anything you can think about that has to do with sci-fi and animation you can find here. All these vendors. Books. Lots of them. Again, this is big anime theme. There's an interesting character in the red. See if we can sneak up. How about that? <laughs> People do a lot of work to put all these. I'm doing it right now. Look at the work that these people put into these amazing cosplays. Yep. 